Thank you, Hugh. Hello, I'm Jennifer Jones. Welcome to the programme for headlines. Meanwhile, the number of unfilled nursing jobs in Wales has increased by more than a thousand in the last year. Also tonight. Good evening, Noswaitha. There's a warning tonight from NHS leaders that Wales is in the midst of a national emergency because of a lack of paid carers. There are calls for the Welsh Government to intervene to ensure carers' pay is increased to stop more from leaving the profession. Up to 1,500 people are currently well enough to leave hospital but can't because there aren't enough staff to look after them in the community. One care company says carers should be paid at least £15 an hour. Well, as we know, health and social care go hand in hand and the NHS is also facing staffing problems. The Royal College of Nursing says there are currently 2,000 900 vacancies. That's 1,200 more than last year. We'll have more on that in a moment. But first, our social affairs correspondent, India Pollock, has this report. Well, our health correspondent, Owen Clark, is in the newsroom. And Owen, India highlighting there what's being described as a national crisis in social care. But there are warnings today about staff shortages across the NHS. Too. We're well, staying with health and we're hearing that too many women feel fobbed off or not listened to when they raise concerns. That's according to a group of 60 charities. Women's Health Wales says they're often misdiagnosed or have to push repeatedly for a diagnosis. More now from our health correspondent, Jenny Rees. The man from Wrexham who admitted the manslaughter of his grandmother after a house fire in February last year has been sent to a psychiatric hospital indefinitely. Now, whether you're a first-time buyer or looking to renew a mortgage, it's a deeply worrying time with so much turbulence in the market. The Bank of England has been forced to intervene, but it's now inevitable. Interest rates are only heading in one direction, and that means higher mortgage costs at a time when many people are already concerned about their personal finances. Well, let's get some much-needed advice now, and Nick Savini is with a mortgage broker in Barry for us. Nick, have led to calls for it to be brought into public ownership. His manor house was on top of an historic mound at Sakharth in North Powys, but it's overgrown and a lack of signs means it's hard to find, as Craig Duggan has been finding out. Craig Duggan there. Well, some sport now, and the 26 women hoping to secure Wales's place in their first ever World Cup have been named ahead of the crucial playoff fixtures next month. The team take on Bosnia and Herzegovina in Cardiff in the first round of the playoffs next week. And as Tom Brown reports, they're hoping to attract a record crowd once again. Yes, let's hope so. Well, the story of the sinking of the Titanic on its maiden voyage is world famous, but much less known is much less is known about the ship that tried to warn the ocean liner before iceberg about icebergs before it sank. Well, researchers from Bangor University are about to change that. The SS Masaba was crossing the Atlantic in 1912 and sent the Titanic a wireless message that it never received. It was sunk itself during the First World War, but now technology gives us the first glimpse of the vessel for over a hundred years. Chris Dearden has the story. Chris Dearden, though, let's get the weather forecast now. Sabrina is here. Hello. Thanks very much, Jen. Good evening, all. Well, we've seen a fair few shadows. Eye out for those double rainbows. A reminder of our top story tonight. From the Wales T Today team for now, we'll be back with a roundup of the headlines at 10.30 tonight. But until then, from all of us on the programme, thanks for your company. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.